Hello, 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 guys. Ah, Sandy the here. God is on top of the hill and Karen on top of the hill. It's a Saturday today, another hot Saturday. We are really, really heading for spring. And I guess this coming summer is going to be a very hot summer. It's already hot, like seriously hot. Like now, it's uh, 10 to 10 to 3 p.m. But the sun is still like up and hot and you know anyway um today i'm building the raised bed for the play for the space where we're colonizing on the other side of the fence of the electric fence uh so yeah let's get on with that let's do that let's do the measurements we need to do the measurements uh, i need to go remind myself what was the measurements there and then come cut the rafters We'll use rafters and the poles in combination. Um, I'll explain why. Uh, I'm not cutting the poles. The poles are 2.4 in length. So we'll put the poles as they are. And, but we'll cut the rafters. The rafters are 3 meters each. So I'm thinking of doing 1.8 uh, by 1.2. No. Yes, because then 1.2 gives me... Uh, it gives me about 4 of 30... One eight will give me about what six, I think. Yeah, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yeah, about six. So I will have six that way, and I will have four that way of um, uh, planting spaces. Yeah, but then now, I, I before I can cut anything, I need to go and confirm if that's what it is, if that's what I have. And then we'll carry on with it. The reason why the poles, I'm not cutting the poles. The poles will stand up tall, um, 2.4, 2.4. Because on those beds that I'm putting on the other side of the electric fence, that's where I'm going to plant things like corn, beans, uh, pumpkin or squash, you know. And squash climbs so we need those poles and uh corn grows tall as well corn can go up to two meters depending so we need that height um beans they also climb if you trellis them the variety of beans so that's why i'm not cutting the poles i'm putting them exactly as they are you might ask well, you can always put um, sticks or whatever, uh, or I can just plant, I will plant actually all three of them on the same bed. So the pins will climb on the corn. Hopefully the squash will climb on the fencing because I'm going to put fencing because cows graze there. If I don't put uh, the wire mesh, it will be pointless for me to plant there. That's another reason why I will have these poles because I have to put the wire mesh around it. See, for me, it's 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 it's, it's way expensive to do this because I am contending with not just nature but the monkeys, the cows, you name it, whatever. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's do this.
Right. All the measurements are done. All the cutting is done. All the drilling is done. I drill holes. Um, these holes, the reason why I drill them is so that when I drive the screw in, uh, it, it doesn't take, uh, it doesn't struggle to go in, you know. It, it will just go nice and smooth in. Uh, also, it doesn't bend and do all those funny things. The only thing that I did not uh, drill holes on is the other poles because um, uh, obviously uh, I haven't measured where the screws will go in them. That for me now is not really important. What important now for me is to actually uh, go and uh, get this thing done, get it uh, sorted out down there. So that's where we're going now. We're going to go down there, take all the material, take the fence, take the rafters, take the poles, and we go and um, we build this bed. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully by next week, next week, Tuesday, we fill it up, it's ready, and then I'll have to go buy either the wire mesh or the, there is um, a net that is um, that, that has more quite open holes so either I'll buy that or I'll buy the, the, the wire mesh we cover it, once we cover it then it's ready to go we can start putting in um, corn corn will go in first and then once it's about a uh, couple of centimeters and then it will be followed by uh, beans and then the beans once they are a couple of centimeters and then it will be followed by squash so squash will come in last or butternut or pumpkin come in last well let's not waste time the sun is about to set let's go do this now Was a safe. It was a good save. Yeah, almost had a boulder rolling down. With the cardboard on the ground, you can start building the race bed. Oh man, oh, the dangers of working here.
let's get the the materials done. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Whew. Right, guys. Moment of the truth. Here's the moment of the truth. Ah, my leg is so. To have to go get my drill bit. I'm going to have to drill the the, the poles as well. Otherwise, this guy is not strong enough to drive the screws all the way in on the poles. 
Uh, it sucks. This sucks. No, I can't even get it back. Hmm. Okay. Maybe this is not gonna happen today. this so we basically need a, a trailer with a cord which means I need to take these things back oh, on the other side or oh, let me get the beat and see let me get the beat and see let me get the trail beat and see oh yeah done way much better job than the the, the, the trail yeah this one is not budging eh?
Yo. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Huh? Who would have thought? I wouldn't have. I didn't. See this coming. As the sun is almost setting. Yeah. Making progress, making progress. Yeah, making progress. Yeah, making progress, slowly but surely. After this, we just have to put in the sides. That's gonna be the tricky part, putting in the sides. But uh, oh, we'll see. We'll see. We have to manage it. We we'll have to manage it. We have no choice. Not much choice now. Now there is no turning back. Sunset or no sunset. For what we go. Sunset or no sunset. For what we go. Hi. Here we go. Do this.
Oh God. Persistence. Persistence is the key now. Persistence is the key now. Right. Those were starters. Now we get to the main course. Woo! Oh man. Don't I love it? Oh yeah. Okay. Now I will have to have this guy in here. And uh This one will be done in the darkness. The sun has gone down, but okay, we're making progress with the sight. I'm putting the last. Oh la la, I hope I'm not running out of bed. Yeah, I am. Ah, yes, yes, but I hate these things. Really going to hate these things, you know. I need to get a spare battery. Yeah. If this thing was in here, I would have assembled inside it, inside the house, but, and then just carry it here, but it is so heavy, that would have been impossible to do. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh man. Ah. Oh yeah. Building this thing on my own wasn't such a very good idea. I should have <coughs> I should have asked my eldest son to come and help me. But, hey, either way, I am making very good progress. And uh, I am happy with the progress I'm making. It's a little bit up there. Oof. Oh God. Yeah. So I need to either put this guy on or put that side on. I don't know if my drill has enough tools to Give me the hole. Yeah. You know? 
else now is going to have to be something that I discover if it will have enough juice. I doubt. I was already complaining. Uh, and it has only one bar. So it might not have enough strength. But I just need about four holes. That's all I need. It's four holes. Should give me these four holes. I'm, I'll be the most happiest man. If I can get these four holes. Good and you, Casey. Good. Ah, the battery ran out. Oh no, it's still there. I'm building a race bed for gardening. Cool, man. Yeah. That's what I'm building. I want to plant some nice veggies here. Ah. Yay! Oh God! I went to a birthday party today. You went to? A birthday party. Ah, whose birthday party? Chase. Ah, was it cool? Yeah. Nice. As long as you enjoyed. Yeah. That's the important part. Oh, my kids? Yeah. In the house. Did you hear icons? Yeah, well, I only thought of that later, eh? I realized a little bit later that I should have asked for help from them. But it's okay. I'll do it now. Is your brother? Hmm? Is your brother? At his house. Oh, yeah. Can we have one more hole, drill bits, please? Just one more hole. Just one. And then I will leave you alone. I promise I will leave you alone. Come on. Flat, flat, flat. <sighs> okay, guys, that's about it. Uh, that's about it. <sighs> that's about it. Um, when I call it a day, I need to go charge this guy. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare battery. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't know, depending if they still appear a light. When I'm done charging it, I'll come back and carry on. But if there isn't, tomorrow is another day. My worry with leaving it like this, and incomplete, is that it might disappear overnight. But I'm hoping that it won't. I'm hoping that it won't, you know. Um, it is quite heavy. Yeah, guys from down there, come and steal it. Anyways, this is how... I'm gonna colonize this place one race bed at a time one at a time one at a time the learnings that I have picked up from this doing this race bed I'm going to apply to all the other race bed that I'll be putting up here and then it will be much more easier 
you know than this has been yeah so hope you learn something out of this hope that you're gonna get out there build your own raised bed do your own plant your own veggies eat your own food that you know what it contains otherwise Sandile here guy lives on top of the hill and gardens on top of the hill I am out however before I go please 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 do not forget to subscribe please hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button please hit the like button comment section you know share the video with the people that are like my uh like-minded that will be highly appreciated from me and from the bottom of my heart i'm out